Hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome. Soulfully Aligned Women, it is Monday morning. We are off and running again for another week. Welcome and come on in. I am super excited this week. Lots of things going on. I am so in the creative flow. Um, I'm. It's a great day. It's a great week. Hello, you guys. Come on in. Um, so to start off this week on Tuesday, meeting with my Soulfully Aligned Creative Mystic Group 2, and we are starting the Creative Mystic portion of our uh, certification program. If you want to join us, you have just a very short window left to come in and join us for the Creative Mystic part. So you would be joining in the group on the days that we do the Creative Mystic and for our monthly painting sessions. So that begins on Tuesday. You might want to come in. This program isn't offered again until later this year in the fall. And so if you want to come, now's the time to learn how to bring out more of the mystic within you, the channeling, the intuition, heightening your intuition, being able to communicate with spirits, guides, angels, teachers, like all of that stuff. Good morning, Jill. Um, so that is happening. Today is, let me think, it is week four, day two for Reclaim Your Radiance, my program that is in the app that is walking people through day by day through six weeks. So we have uh, this week and then two more weeks left and then Reclaim Your Radiance will begin again. So think about that if you want to come and join us for another six week launch of, of that. Um, <clears throat> That is the six weeks to creating your own sacred soul practice that works for you. Good morning, Joanna. So um, that is happening on February 11th and it is a day by day walking with the app, 10 minute uh, little soul alignment and then a 10 minute mind flow for you every single day. It's a wonderful program. So that is happening at, I'm super excited today because I am finally launching my very first high level inner circle program for the soul driven women that is ready to take things to the next level. So I sent an email out with, uh, to everyone on that this morning take a look at it. It is not for everyone and there is a very limited number of spaces because you get access to me every day, all day. And so I want to make sure that I am there for you and I'm not overextended. So maybe three women will come into this and we will walk together for the next five months. We manifest so awesomely. <laughs> is that a word? Awesomely? We're really great at manifesting <clears throat> despite the fact that there is so much going on in the world, despite the fact that we have sneaky little limiting beliefs that get into our mind and play games with us, despite the fact that we have ancestral patterns that we're trying to work through and figure out and get out of the way. And despite the fact that there's stuff going on in the world that distracts you and pulls you into this 3D world, and yet you are still moving forward, you are still manifesting, and this is fabulous, right? Now imagine if you could stay in alignment and you had somebody with you that was saying, oh, you strayed off a little bit, oh, you strayed off a little bit, and keep us going forward, we would quantum leap forward into your beautiful dreams, desires in your life. So that is what the inner circle is all about. Good morning, Karen. Hello and welcome. All right, so, so much energy here, so much fun. I'm having a great time. I absolutely love, love, love what I do and the lifestyle I have created and I wanna help you get there with yours. So let's tap in and see what they have for us today. So I'm going to uh, invite you to light your candle, put on some soft music, 
and close your eyes with me and have some nice long deep breaths that timing let me just take care of that and we will get settled here so you guys just relax and breathe Okay, we're back. <laughs> this is life. We're real here. Real time, authentic. This is what it's like with kids and dogs, right? Okay, breathing nice, long, deep breaths. Beautiful. And just settling in. Letting go of everything else. Focusing on your breath. When you've had enough long deep breaths, come back to your normal breathing pattern. And bring your awareness into your body. Feeling into that space and welcoming all sensations. Don't block anything. Don't try to change anything. Just a gentle acceptance. Lean into that space of stillness, leaning back into your heart space. <clears throat> Imagining your heart space opening up, softening and opening. And there's a beautiful light there growing. Allow that light to grow. To expand with each breath breathe into that beautiful light allowing that light to grow glowing stronger until you are standing in the center of your heart light frequency with each heartbeat you can feel the frequency growing stronger and stronger and the light getting brighter and brighter You're going to see the column of light running from your heart through the entire core of your body up and down. And let's follow that light down, sending love down, going all the way down your legs into the earth, deep down to the heart of Mother Earth. And feeling her welcome you with her open arms hugging you heart to heart you're feeling yourself sinking up to her heartbeat and feel yourself fill up with her love and her nurturance 
and bring that up into your body. <coughs> Bring it up into your heart, breathe it up into your body, your bones, your muscles, your tissues. Breathe it into every cell, let it saturate through your body. Feeling fully connected to Mother Earth, like you're standing in a beautiful old growth forest and she is all around you. And now from your heart, reaching up, going up through the top of your head, follow that channel of light all the way up. Imagine looking up and seeing the most beautiful, immense heart light of the universe. Imagine how bright it would be and the colors of the rainbow swirling, shimmering, Allow that light to flow down. Allow it to come down through your core, through that column of light, and also all around you, soothing all around you, swirls of light, caressing through your energy field, cleansing, clearing, and you're feeling yourself almost lifted up from your heart. You feel so much energy, so much lightness. And allow that beautiful rainbow light to come pouring through into your heart let it pour into every fiber of your body and let it cleanse your energy field. This is your place of power. This is where all your wisdom your ancient wisdom comes from. This is where your intuition, where you just know the next right step. Breathe that in. Let it absorb and just be in this beautiful high frequency energy <clears throat> and they want you to look at in your life we all have problems challenges but the question they're asking is where are you placing your power? Are, are your problems and challenges becoming bigger than you? Is the relationship challenge, the money struggles, the health struggles, are they becoming your focus? Are you placing them on a pedestal? Are they becoming bigger than you? Because if they are, you are giving away your power. You are so much bigger than any problems that you have in your life. You are so much more infinite. And when you access this point here that you are in right now, this point of stillness, this point of connection, you are accessing your higher power, the infinite power that is available to you as an infinite being. But when you place your focus on the struggles and problems that are going on in your life, if that is the focus of your day throughout your day, then you are living from the human side, which is a limited energy 
and limited energy. And you could be accessing unlimited energy. So where do you choose to place your attention throughout your day? Where are you seeking guidance from? Are you going externally for guidance? <coughs> or are you coming to your ancient wisdom for guidance? So just remember today that if you are focusing on your problems and they are becoming bigger than you, you are giving away your power. And we leave that with you for today. Breathe in. Feel yourself standing in this ancient old growth forest aligned with this beautiful rainbow light and rooted into the earth, <coughs> feeling the love of Mother Earth. This is where you come for guidance. So feel this in your body. Take in a couple more deep breaths. As we slowly begin to come back to this space, come back here to begin your day. Move your body, wiggle your fingers and toes, stretch your neck. And come on back. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you. I love that message that came through. Ah, oh, hello. Yes, Jill, I love my animals too. <laughs> That's why I don't get upset when they bark. They're just protecting me. I just had to go and remind them that I'm okay. I'm the boss. I can handle it. <laughs> I have a really great, I, I don't. You know, training dogs is always a tricky thing for me because I have a, a gentle energy, so they often want to overpower me. So I have this really great, it's it's compressed air. It's called a pet corrector. I don't know if any of you have ever used it. It it does, I don't spray it at them. It just makes a pss sound and that quiets. They, they know. And I now I don't even have to like make the sound. I just pick the can up and they look at me and go, oh, okay, we'll lay down. <laughs> So it works really good. Uh, oh, you're so welcome, Joe. I love being here with you guys. I don't want to go. <laughs> All right. I should go, though. I have some paperwork to do and some emails to send and a massage coming up this morning. See, I live the best life. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. All right. Enjoy your day. Bye. Thank you.